Hello again, the practitioner continuing on. Now, some of the bases of science. Without science and engineering, we would not have the modern technological society that we do. Without the uh, without the basic uh, theories that later um, without the basic theories of uh, you know of how birds uh, were able to fly, etc., we wouldn't have airplanes. Without the basics of chemistry and uh, mechanics, we would not have been able to develop the first internal combustion engine, which allows for cars and more specifically trucks which ship everything from raw materials in terms of metal, etc., for industry, clean through to the food from farms to cities which you eat every day. Without the basics of modern technology and science, you would be living in a city where you might be getting uh, some, say, local food from the local area, but there would be a considerably lesser population. And here's something else that you would probably not be getting. You might, you know, if you're living in a democracy like ancient Athens, but, you know, wait, ancient Athens actually had philosophy and proto-science. Uh, and logic. Scratch that. If you are living in a system without logic, and the thing is, and this is where I'm talking about logic and science together. So far I've been banking a large chunk on science, but I'm also going to talk about logic now. If you were living uh, in, a, in a society without logic, you would be living in a society as a peasant. Because in a society without logic, there is uh, the complete, uh, uh, there is the complete uh, unquestioning obedience to authority. Because, oh, well, the authority is big. It must, be, it must know what it's talking about. It's an authority. It must know what is, you know, the authority is, uh, we must obey the authority because it knows what it's talking about. It must know what it's talking about because it's an authority. Notice the problem with this? This is circular logic. And no, that's not meant to be the symbol for crazy. That's meant to be, it's called a tautology or begging the question. The premises is the conclusion. You know, you're basically saying it is this because it is this. Or it is because I said so. It's, it's effectively, that's it. It's just, it is because it is. It's a, it's a tautology. It's not really logical at all. But here's the thing. With that, do you, uh, are you familiar at all with uh, any sort of the oppressions that used to happen? Or even some of the oppressions that still do happen today? Oppressions of women's rights in the Far East, or sorry, the Middle East, um, you know, and, uh, you, know, in, you, know, like, you know, in terms of Saudi Arabia and the like, uh, that sort of tyrannical dictatorships that can be got, uh, gotten away with. In a society where people are uneducated and lack logic, you know, they don't really, you know, where they're uneducated, they don't really have a system to be, you know, any even logic, they don't really have a system to be able to, um, you know, to be able to question the government. And without being able to question the government, you are able to be manipulated uh, to whatever they want you to do, especially if they can, uh, uh, if they can threaten you. Because uh, here's one thing, one very simple piece of logic. A dictator can threaten you, but his armed forces can only be anywhere, can, uh, can only, can't be everywhere at once. Therefore, if a large minority or even if the entire majority of the population especially if the entire majority of the population all joined in as one big revolution, they would outnumber the, they would outnumber the armed forces, especially if they could manage to get the, uh, and if they could manage to get weaponry, uh, they could beat the armed forces and overthrow the dictator. Very simple logic. You know, it's just a simple, uh, and it's just basic numbers. But be, uh, without, without a basic literacy or mathematics, or even basic application thereof, People can't figure out that if they're uh, being, you know, uh, you know, uh, controlled by a dictator, uh, dictatorial system, that they, uh, you know, they can that they can overthrow the government. Any dictator, uh, you know, I mean, that's just, you know, that's just one example. Why, in addition to uh, overpopulation, overconsumption problems, why do you think China wants to do that? Uh, was wanting to do that one baby policy? You know, there are two reasons. One of which they were overpopulated, but two, if they want to maintain their status as a dictatorship, you know, they've got to keep the population down to something they can control. You know, and the same goes with, um, you know, it's a two-reason process. But, you know, early on they would no doubt have started earlier if they, you know, if they had, if they caught on themselves. But anyway, here's my point. You know, without a, um, you know, without basic, without basic understanding of math and science, you can't do that. Here's another one. And this is where, uh, and there's a reason I put media tag on here as well. Um, media will often report whatever the latest uh, findings seem to be. But do you remember a, um, do you remember a study? Uh, there was one study which later got discredited within the medical community because it turned out to be flawed. There was a big scare. Uh, there was a big scare uh, in Britain and in the U.S. about uh, vaccines causing autism because of the mercury inside. And because of this uh, apparently correlational link, which they hadn't actually properly explored well enough to see if it was causal, you know, they hadn't actually controlled well enough for uh, to see it, um, a big scare ended up happening. Um, and, well, again, in this uh, exact same episode, they talk about... Um, you know, in, the, in this exact same uh, app, uh, Breaking the Science Barrier video, they talk about what happens, uh, or was it another video? I think it may have been the Enemies of Reason. Yeah, uh, look in the Enemies of Reason, comma, Richard Dawkins, you'll find it there. But um, the uh, this one particular case, uh, there was actually uh, a one-token death 
from uh, measles in Great Britain uh, in the past uh, three decades because of the fact that people stopped refusing to uh, stop taking vaccines, you know, uh, stop giving their kids the vaccines, um, you know, and these vaccines are necessary to prevent life-threatening illnesses, you know, which are legit. So the thing is, it's sort of like, you know, are you going to worry about, um, you know, and the thing is, it's not so much about flimsy science or, you know, just dismissing science off the bat. Granted, should have, more research should have been done. More research was done and the study was discredited. <laughs> you know, it's like, that's the, that's the whole concept, you know, but until more evidence comes in, you don't, you know, until more evidence comes in, you work with where the bulk of the evidence is lying in terms of the science. And the bulk of the evidence, and you, and what you do is you don't also just assume based on what somebody tells you based on what the general population believes on it. You take a look at the actual evidence yourself in the light, in the light something like this comes out. You don't just look at popular sources. You look at all the popular sources. If you can, you look at technical sources as well. You get your hands on the original peer-reviewed literature. Um, or medical textbooks and medical to and or medical textbooks related to this. You talk to doctors in a whole uh, wide range of this, and then you go, you know, and then you make up your mind and go do with it. You don't do it, you know, off it. You don't go off half cocked on it. And because of the fact that the media, uh, you know, often has a tendency to report everything with the exact same sort of sensational, uh, you know, like this is the latest facts, and it's sort of like, yeah, but it's the latest fact in a long stream of facts, which you know people tend to forget. And without these, you know, without going back and looking at this sort of thing. Um, you know, looking at this in a larger context, which, you know, the news often doesn't do, people are going to just simply take things one at a time. And again, due to misunderstanding of logic and science in the system, this sort of thing is happening on a minor scale. Now, if we didn't have, so, again, now the, the thing is that, you know, we are living in a society right now where, you know, if anything, we have to be media savvy. And here's another thing, without logic, without logic, you are highly susceptible to advertising. Uh, you know, and this is where, again, focusing on the logic aspects. Without knowing critical thinking fallacies and without understanding how, uh, without having a basic understanding of math at the very least, um, you are pro you are prey to being manipulated uh, by advertisements. You are prey to being manipulated by politicians. You are prey to being manipulated by your own boss uh, or people who are charging you just because of the fact that you can't do your math. You know, and uh, you know, hell, in my case, I almost got that way today. And I ma matter of fact, the moment I saw, you know. Like I said, the moment I, you know, like I've been keeping close track of, of my expenditures based on things. And in one case, when I saw an expenditure that didn't look like it was belonging to anything, you know, I promptly caught, you know, I promptly caught that I had been uh, de defrauded or at least thought that I had. And I promptly investigated on it because of that understanding of math. Now, luckily, in my case, it turned out that I had just simply misread a contract and it was all well and good. And unfortunately, it was on something beneficial anyway. But the point is better to have that paranoia on something like that and to check into it rather than not, you know, uh, rather than not having checked into it and having uh, been duped out of hard earned money, um, you know, and having been duped out of hard earned money, um, uh, you know, legitimately, you know, be better paranoia than. But anyway, uh, anyway, like I said, lack of information, you know, that case was just general lack of genuine lack of information. But it only proves my point, you know, without. Without a, uh, you know, look at what happened to me. I didn't have full information, and you know, I had to check on it as a result. Uh, but here's another one: without without understanding propaganda techniques, without understanding critical thinking fallacies, and you can get all that from my other videos: uh, logic, critical thinking skills, logical fallacies. I've, I've posted that all back in my videos. Um, without those concepts, you don't understand when people are um, are, uh, you know, just doing standard character attacks or what have you. And you can even, uh, there, there have been cases where people have been entirely discredited, you know, for actual medical, you know, like they're based on their actual expertise or the, or the actual science they're quoting, purely based on attacks of their character. Um, and, you know, and it, it, it sinks. Why do you think I'm uh, so adamant about trying to fight these, uh, these uh, videos that keep coming in of uh, ad hominem attacks of people calling me a faggot and the like? The reason I'm against it is not because of whether I'm gay or not, but because of the fact that if they're trying to discredit me uh, based on an ad hominem attack, I have to point out the illogic in that. For in the event that some uh, that some buddy who isn't trained who isn't trained in logic and is coming across my videos for the first time, um, you know, automatically um, automatically uh, you know uh, reads the comments, uh, sees me as a faggot, and then just decides not to watch the videos or even consider the points that I'm bringing up purely based on those attacks. Now, the thing is, I don't expect people to agree with me, but I do expect them to think about what I'm saying and then make up their own minds. And better yet, to actively go out and seek other sources, both the ones I've referenced and ones that might not necessarily, might, ones that might even be opposite to what I've referenced. You know, to go out there, look at everything that's been referenced by everyone else, and then make up their own minds. You see where I'm going with this? Again, um, and remember, I don't think I have to quote more than Tomorrow's Technology and You to find out what happens when society collapses based on that. Um, I think I pretty well exp expressed it in terms of science and logic. Now for the final part of the video where I talk about what happens if technology collapses.